Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Leverage Report. I'm Melissa Martinez, and I'm filling in for Susan today, and I'd like to introduce you to my friend, Amy Angelo. Amy, thanks for being with us, and I am so excited to get to see you again so soon after MTMP. It's taken me two weeks to recover. Folks that don't know you, can you tell me and tell all of us who you are and what you do? Sure. Like you said, my name is Amy Angelo. I'm the Director of Paralegal Programs for Mass Torts Made Perfect. So I help coordinate all of the webinars. We have monthly webinars that are free. And then we also have a paralegal track at MTMP at the live conference twice a a year. So how long has the paralegal college been in place? So it's actually, it's still pretty fairly new. I would say we've been operating now. It started during COVID is as a lot of things did. It started with webinars during COVID. So for about four years. It seems like it. And my other question is, who is this program geared towards? Is it, do you have to be a, a certified paralegal or? You do not. It's geared towards anyone from legal assistance to your client intake staff to your associate attorneys. Anyone that is in the mass torts field can benefit from paralegal college. No, I absolutely agree. I think one of the hardest things to understand when you get into the mass torts world is there are a ton of abbreviations many that all are talking about the same thing. And it's a secret code that is hard to uncrack and it does take some time. And I feel like this is a, a bit of a short, or I'm sorry, fast track to get to where you need to be and get people off the ground and running maybe sooner than otherwise. And with that said, I mean, really kind of, I, I paid attention to this time was looking over your curriculum and you had the real life practical topics. And I'd love for you to share some of those. I'd love for you to share what those topics are and, and how you chose them. Well, specifically, we introduced just this last MTMP and had a great success with the workshops. So we had a plain of fact sheets workshop on liens, and we had a medical records retrieval workshop. These were amazing. This was the first time, like I said, that we did this. In fact, we're going to use some of these now as webinars because we had such great responses to them. But this was a chance for the paralegals or the legal staff or even the attorneys who's ever working on that portion of their case to come in and physically like bring their I mean, plain a fact sheet for perfect example and say, this is what I need help with, or I keep on getting this deficiency. And so it was a really great hands-on learning experience. So we had great success with the workshops. I love that. And, and I love this topic. <laughs> the rest of the track is really geared just towards learning. We do have a lot of single event paralegals that come to, or paralegals that come from firms that just refer cases to other firms. Right. So we try and talk about all practical paralegal applications. So besides the curriculum and, and going through the course, what are some of the other activities and social events, et cetera, that are available to folks that come in? In person or? Oh, I mean, I, it's, even though it's Las Vegas, I know that there are some really great parties that include everyone. So the opportunity to network, I think probably comes up and I think there's a paralegal dinner or is it a special happy hour? Or I mean, there's opportunities like that, correct? We have both. We usually try to start the night before the conference. So Amy, you're putting together the curriculum. How do you decide who are the best potential speakers and get people on a panel? So that's really determined by what cases are hot right now. Mass torts are really hot. Plaintiffs, who's on plaintiff's leadership, we like to have their paralegals or even the attorneys from the plaintiff's leadership committees on to talk about specific topics and specific cases. Other than that, I feel like we have such a wide network of attorneys that attend and are connected with so many other firms that we just reach out for referrals too and say like, who do you have great from your firm that would be good to speak on this topic? I think that's one of the reasons that Paralegal College is growing so much is because we're trying to build our own network. Attorneys historically have always had a guy they can call. 
you ask any attorney, Hey, do you know somebody that does? Oh, well, I don't, but I know a guy, you know, let me call a guy. Well, I want to call a guy like, and that's what we're trying to build is paralegals who can call each other. And right. you know, I want to have a guy I can call. You're right. I mean, the, having that network of and people who are in the middle of the same potential challenges in terms of, you know, I know that the fact plaintiff fact sheets over time have names have changed. They go back and forth. Some are long, some are short, and there's always a lot of questions. And it, it seems like having a community to get a quick answer from. Absolutely. And the paralegals are the ones who are doing these plaintiff fact sheets and plaintiff profile forms or yes, whatever name that they've taken on for that MDL. And so that's why it's so important to have your paralegal there at the conference, because if you're just sending the attorney, then the attorney has to come back and relay that information to the person who's actually doing it. Well, why not just skip that step and let not only the person who's actually doing it learn live how to do it, but then to make that connection with a resource that they can reach out to nationwide. I feel like a lot of paralegals have local paralegal communities, but especially with these mass tours, I mean, these are nationwide. We need nationwide connections. Absolutely. I've heard people say that they're now part of their, you know, firm the plan for the firm for the year, or it's maybe a firm retreat um, so that a bigger group can participate. And I, I think that you offer, you know, special discounts for groups, right? Absolutely. Yes. And we have discounts for paralegals as well. We have discounts for early word sign up. Yes. We offer all sorts of discounts. Gosh, you just, you made me think about one of the biggest challenges is all of these M with the MDLs, but the deadlines and what exactly it means, not to mention, where do I go? What are my resources for finding the most recent activity um, on a case or litigation? For all those reasons, I think it's wonderful to have a resource. We actually have a MTMP paralegal Facebook group. It's a private group. It's amazing. It's an amazing resource, but it's almost like a group chat where especially when people have questions that they need immediately answered, you can drop your question to this group of 175 paralegals working on similar MDLs across the country. Hey, what's happening with this? And get almost an immediate response. So I'm saying this because it can be cut, but I'm just wondering, have you considered having a listserv for paralegals that are specifically in the mass torts world? And it could be something that you like, I mean, I wouldn't want to put all the burden on one person, but I know Amy does with WEM. Everybody who's on that listserv, she personally approves and you know looks into to make sure that it's a plaintiff side. Blah, blah, blah. So we talked about a listserv. I don't know how like the social media director, manager, or whatever landed on the paralegal Facebook group. It's, right. it's honestly because it started out as a WhatsApp group chat that uh -huh. we created because some paralegals are being sent out to Vegas to MTMP by themselves. And we don't want anyone to feel like you're by yourself. It can be overwhelming. It can be overwhelming even if you come with your firm. So we created this group so that people could connect before the conference, during the conference, and after the conference. Oh, nice. And we've just found a lot of success with the with the social media aspect of it, as opposed to just having a listserv. Mm -hmm. We've already signed up for so many listservs. We wanted something fun too. Yeah, absolutely. And I love the idea of having a community is a first timer. It's a special experience for sure that kind of have that group to show you around and, and give you the back. That's, I love it. I'm so glad it's been so successful. First time attendees will actually match you up with like a buddy. Oh. I wouldn't necessarily say a mentor, but just, we don't want anyone to feel like they're alone. And I mean, you've been there. It's, it's overwhelming. It is, but it's, you know, it's really exciting to be in a room or whether it's during a speech or anything else, a room with your people, people yeah. who are facing the same issues that you are every single day. It is. I mean, I love that it's grown beyond just what the MT, old school MTMP. Okay. So let's change topics. So tell me, we've touched on the networking and obviously the curriculum is amazing, but so what are some of the other benefits you would say that come along with being MTMP paralegal college? Well, 
Yeah, I guess we did already touch on the networking. I don't know that I've fully expanded as much as I would like to though on the networking. The chance to meet face to face, a lot of the people that you're working with on these MDLs is just invaluable. And I think it's a nice way to reward your paralegal by taking them to MTMP, but it's just, it's so beneficial for us to get that FaceTime as well with the people who are working on the same cases that we're working on every day and, and just have somebody to bounce ideas off of, or, you know, how is your firm doing this? In addition to that though, I think having your paralegal at MTMP is they can go to the exhibit hall, which is, you know, where all the vendors are. And I believe that most of the paralegals in their firms are the ones who are making the decisions about who the vendors are going, who's going to be used. I know the attorneys are the ones that get like approached with the information and they sign the check. But I mean, speaking from my own personal experience, I worked as a personal injury paralegal who did mass torts as well for 15 years before I joined MTMP. And my boss like would bring back to me, hey, here's what we need. What medical records retrieval company do you want to use? What case management software do you want to use? I need you to be with these people. And at MTMP, I'm able to do that, you know, all in one day or all in one conference. Right. It, the exhibit hall is unlike any other one. I've always called MTMP. It's Super Bowl for lawyers in a way. I mean, you've just so many people, so much excitement and interest. And as you said, the ability to meet with multiple folks that provide the same service and be able to educate yourself. And I was going to mention, I've had several friends tell me before that our firm has been co-counsel with so-and-so for 20 years or 10 years, and I've never met them in person. Uh, so this is having this opportunity to listen to or speak with, or it really does keep the connection. And I think that it creates a, a better bond, a stronger bond for continuing the relationship. I'd also add, I mean, I've told you this before, I consider this paralegal college to be sort of the hidden treasure, the gem that is shining, starting to shine even brighter. I've seen this a lot where all of a sudden, you know, paralegal or, you know, some office staff, because I know that some people bring their marketing managers, et cetera. The relationships that they form, whether it's elevator or at a lunch, will lead to more business because okay. you may meet somebody that is looking for a firm to be local counsel in their state. Years ago, somebody described MTMP to me as it's a place that you go, there's going to be business for you out of it in whatever aspect, whether you're a vendor or exhibitor, or, you know, just from every capacity. And, and I'm just kind of trying to make that point because it the ROI on that conference is not something you can put a dollar figure on, but you will see it. The investment will come back to you for sure. Absolutely. I mean, it is the largest conference, but largest plaintiff's attorneys conference nationally. If you're trying to do any type of networking, yes, MTMP is where it should be done at. I totally agree. Going to be announcing if you want an early announcement. Oh, I love it. If you want some juicy scoop. Uh, we are developing right now and we are going to be introducing in April an MTMP certification program that's completely free, but it's going to allow paralegals and attorneys to go through. It's an online module mm -hmm. and we have experts in each area of MDLs who do an online course and then you take a test, but at the very end you get an, a mass towards certification. It's the only program of its kind. And it's really going to be, I think, invaluable for people in the mass sports industry. Wow. I love it. So it, having that distinction, I think that is wonderful for creating opportunities, larger opportunities, you know, demonstrating that you've put in the time and effort to learn the, the hands-on behind the scenes. Anybody can do that. I mean, we designed it for paralegals who are new to the mass sports industry, but we are allowing anyone to take it. So I feel like 
even a vendor who wants to get more familiar with mass torts should take the certification to learn about it. Well, that, that's the only way to break the code. You know, even just the, gosh, you could have a pop quiz with the, you know, it's sort of funny. It's funny now, but having to Google every single one of those, you know, the abbreviations was. No, they're all going yeah. through my head right now. It's like, just as you're saying that, I'm just thinking like the first time I ever heard MTMP, I'm like, what is that? Oh, uh -huh. yeah. MDL, JPML, yes. Yes, E, P, E, C, P, S, C. Yes, P, F, S, P, P, F. Yes, you're right. But that's all going to be included in the certification program. We're just super excited about it and just so honored to be able to offer that to people. I agree. I love that you all have evolved as a group uh, to meet the demands of and the needs of folks, as you said, I didn't know what the letters MTMP stood for for a long time. It's kind of like a part of the English language now for folks in the mass twerk world. So what would you advise to someone who has not been before, is really interested, where, how should they go about this? And are there any kind of tips that you might have for somebody sort of trying to pitch this to somebody in the office? Well, I'd first check out our website, mtmp.com. If you're a paralegal, we'd love to have you join the paralegal Facebook group. We have- What is that called? I mean, can you tell us where to look? It's just MTMP paralegals, but um, it's on our website. Okay. There's a drop down to join the group. So yeah, it's right on the website as well. I would get started with the free webinars. We have you know, free monthly webinars for paralegals and for attorneys. But if you're looking to ask your boss, right, if you can come to MTMP, I would be happy to talk to them personally about all the benefits. I can provide all my contact information, or I don't know how we can do that, if we can post that or whatever. I think that'll be part of the either okay. visually or part of the email in the, you know, the, announcing what the link is. Sure. The website gives the most information and you can get signed up for our mailing list so that you can get connected with the webinars and, you know, all the promotions and the early bird discounts and things like that. But it's really that much of a struggle, right? For you to get your boss to agree to send you. Let me sit down and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with them and tell them about all the benefits versus the cost. It's a no-brainer once you, once you evaluate that. So not only can you make money, you can grow your business. I, I realized too, you can save money because the ability to not just meet different vendors and folks in the legal service industry, you have real time in-person uh, paralegals in your college who can give you information about their own personal experience. I think we are all, given the expenses involved with the mass tort, you don't want to be the one to roll the dice with a business decision that ends up costing your claimants, your clients, time, money. And I think that's word of mouth is so powerful, but you can't utilize it unless you're there to speak in person. Right. And we have found that some attorneys are not comfortable setting their paralegals because they need their paralegal to be in the office. If the attorney is going to be at the conference, they're like, why am I paralegal in the office? Because of that, we created a paralegal lounge, which is essentially a paralegal war room. It started because we had paralegals who needed to work while the conference was going on. They're having to run back to their rooms, which as you know, is not yeah. close. So we have a separate room that's right by where we have all of our workshops and seminars where paralegals can work and take Zoom calls and print and scan. And it's basically just a war room. So you can work while you're at the conference. Okay. That would seal the deal for me, for sure. I would love the access to that lounge myself. It's so difficult. You're, I mean, to, to go get finding a place to have a private Zoom call or even a last minute jump on a call thing. Uh, right next door to the conference room is yeah. incredible. Such a smart benefit. If there's snacks there, even better. I'm just kidding. There are snacks. There are snacks. Um, it's really, you have to come. Like it really I, is. I, please come check it out. And I mean, you're welcome to use it, of course. You you hit it. That What more can, can you ask for? And so well, I would are early. early. To be in two places at one time. So... We just wanted to eliminate any obstacle 
the attorney's hat or hang up the attorney's hat with my paralegal can't leave the office. Well, we brought the office to your paralegal. So there, now there's no excuse. You nailed it. You all have thought of everything. I'm so, so happy for you. I love how successful this is and how it just keeps, you know, changing with the times. I can't imagine a world without it. So in closing, is there anything, any last words you have for us? I think, I mean, just to sum it up, the paralegal community is so special to have, like the community itself, not just professionally, but personally. We don't just talk about professional things. We talk about work-life balance. We're talking about mental health. We're talking about how to avoid burnout. All the same things that the attorneys have been talking about for years when the paralegals are the ones who probably need to hear it the most. So more than anything, we have just built a community and a space for people to make friends and build professional relationships and grow professionally, but grow personally too. And we just love it. Well, you summed it all up. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. And I can't wait to see you next. Thank you. Wait, oh, let's have a save the date type comment. Yes, please save the date for April 1st through the 3rd. We'll be at the Wynn in Las Vegas. There is an early bird discount happening through January. So get signed up early and we can't wait to see everyone there. Awesome. Thank you so much, Amy. Thank you.